Hello friends, in today's video, let's solve Geeks for Geeks problem of the day, which is grouping of numbers and yeah, it is a very good problem and uh, we need some, uh, we need to do some lots of calculations in this problem. So we are told that we are, we have given an array of n numbers and we need to divide this n numbers into different groups. Okay. And uh, each group should contain numbers in which sum of any two numbers should not be divisible by n integer k. Okay. And we need to print the size of the group which contains the maximum number of elements. Correct. So let me take first example. So we are given 1, 7, 2 and 6. This is my array. And I am given k equal to 8. Right. So what groups I can form? See I can form every single groups. 1, 7, 2, 6. Correct. So these are the groups. Then again I can form 1, 2, then 1, 6. Then similarly 7 and 2, 7 and 6. Correct. So yeah, so these are the groups, right, which I can form. So this is a single group, right? Every, we know that minimum, see, for this problem, the minimum answer is always going to be 1, right? So we are sure for that, right? <coughs> Why? Because see, until and unless, until and unless, all of the elements are divisible by k, correct? So see, uh, I cannot take form this pair. I cannot take make this group, right? Why? Because sum of the elements, which is 2 plus 6, is 8 and 8 modulo 8 is 0 right so I cannot form this group now if I take 1 comma 7 again 1 plus 7 is 8 8 modulo 8 is 0 hence I cannot form this group right what we are told exactly in the problem understood and under, let us understand that so we need to uh, make group in which sum of any two numbers should not be divisible by an integer k correct any two numbers right so that is very important to know now let me take one more example okay so 1 7 uh, then again uh, take 2 and 5 okay assume that uh, that assume that we are given this okay so now we are told that uh, uh, we, uh, we yeah now let's say k equal to 8 again right now we are told that find the maximum group size maximum group size such that the any sum of any two numbers is so you, you uh, sum of any two numbers is not divisible by k correct so you would th think of taking this group right okay but you can see that already the sum is divisible by 8 because sum is 8, 8 modulo 8 is 0. But this is not the case. This is not the case in this problem, correct? So see, you, ne you need to take care of only pairs of elements, not the entire sum array, oh? not the entire sum of array, correct? So, you, so this is a completely valid case. This is a completely valid answer, right? I can form this group. Why? Because see, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 5 is 7, and 1 plus 5 is 6. So none of the pairs, none of the sum, none of the pairs, have sum divisible by k okay so it is not the case and you are told the same thing in the question also see each group should contain numbers in which sum of any two numbers should not be divisible by integer k sum of any two numbers only right that means sum of any pair in my group should not be divisible by k so first thing to be noticed should not be divisible by k Correct. So this is a very important thing to notice that some not the sum of the entire error but sum of any any pair. Okay. Sum of any pair you take in your group should not be divisible by k. Okay. Now let's try to approach this problem and see whenever you have such kind of problems, right? Assume that this is the case and k equal to 8. We need to find the remainders, right? See. Uh, and one more thing. Whenever whenever you divide any number by k, whenever you divide any number by k, the remainder the remainders will be in the range of 0 to k minus 1. So this is an important deduction range of remainders. See how, how can I sh surely say that see you can divide uh, see you can start from 0 and 1 and 2 and then you can go up till 8 right 8 modulo 8 is again 0 9 now 9 modulo 8 is 1 9 when div see you know that modular operator is my it will give me my remainder will give remainder right in uh, C++ or any any languages right uh, modular will give us the remainder right now so this is very one important deduction that whenever you find the remainder of any number uh, when whenever you do a modular by k the remainder in the remainders will always be in the range of 0 to k minus 1 so this is very important proof uh, this is very important thing which we need to know while solving this problem now let's move forward let's look at the second thing what 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 we need to do so 1, 7, 2 and 6 and my k is 8. Okay. 
and uh, let's say let's say I'm taking uh, as of now k to be 3 okay let me take k to be 3 only here right for this problem now I am I need to find the remainders of all numbers right remainders of all numbers when they divided when are when they are divided by 3 okay see so this is a kind of a two sum problem kind of a two sum not exactly the two sum problem see now whenever I find out the remainders I will store them in a map I will store them in a map and why why do we need to find remainders yeah some uh, you can ask that why do we need to find remainders why we need to find we need to find remainders so this is a legible question and a good question okay why do we need to find remainders you can do see you can see otherwise otherwise you can what you can do you can try to form groups right see i am first forming a group starting with one then what i can include i can include two no i cannot include two because the one plus two is three and three modulo two is a uh, three modulo three is zero right so i cannot take two correct so then i would take see uh, this is a brute force solution in brute force you can try to form all of the groups try from all of the groups and yeah, it would no, it would get time limit exceeded definitely right but in case let's say i have one seven two and six okay this is my array so this is my array correct now in case i have the remainder stored right remainders of the numbers when divided by k so one modulo three is one seven modulo three is again one two modulo three is two six modulo three is zero right so these are the remainders this is my array and this is my remainders array right so now what do remainders tell about uh, uh, the problem right what do remainders tell about the problem see if my remainder if my remainders to sum i mean if if any of the remainders pair 1 plus 2 assume that this i am taking this two case so 1 plus 2 is 3 if my remainders sum is divided modulo k is equal equal to 0 then my original arrays elements are also divisible by k so that means that i cannot take these two elements in my same group correct see if my one and if my if my remainder sum is divisible by k then definitely my array uh, the element sum is also going to be divisible by k that is for sure so that is the case again now <coughs> we know that remainder will be always be in the range of 0 to k minus 1 so now what was the question 1726 one seven two six and my k is equal to three what would be the remainder in zero to k minus one which is two now uh, for let's see there are two edge cases two edge cases here in this problem whenever my uh, element is divided modular k is equal equal to zero and when k by two equal equal to n okay so there, these two cases i will handle it separately okay now assume that i am starting from low low pointer equal to one and high pointer equal to two see now what do, what do i not require what i am see <coughs> now if my low plus high modulo k equal equal to zero then this is not required right this is not required if i take if i take yeah friend sorry for the description yeah so what i am what i was saying our example is one seven two and six and my k is eight okay so <laughs> remainder would be in the range of 0 to k minus 1 first thing so let me form my remainder 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 okay Z remainders would be in the range of 0 to 7 this is what this is for sure what i know now if i try to see now let's me let me fill it also so my frequency of 1 is 1 7 is 1 again 2 is 1 and 6 is 1 else all are 0 okay now if i take see if i want to take this element if i want to take this element 1 and i i cannot take 7 right i cannot take see if i take an element with remainder 1 then i cannot take an element with remainder 7 correct this is for sure i hope you know that now if i want to take an element with remainder 2 then i cannot take an element with remainder 6 why because they see if they are in the same group if they are in the same group then they will uh, they will uh, they will uh, sum up to they will sum up to k okay that is for sure right so that is for sure see if i want to take 1 i need to take care of 7 7's case if i need to take care of 2 then i need to take care of 6 if i need to take 3 then i also need to take care of 5 now between 1 and 7 between 1 and 7 what you would take what you would take see this is my frequency here okay this is my frequency of remainders 
that means that see as of now as of now i only have one element right with frequency one assume that if it was uh, i have, i am including one more element with uh, frequency of one what would be that nine i am including nine in my array so nine module eight is again one right so i am taking two right so now this would be two right because frequency of two elements is two uh, one right that means that see one module eight is also one and nine module eight is also one right so that means my frequent in my frequency array at position number one with remainder one I have two elements correct. Now what I would take see I can group these two numbers right. I can take one and nine in in the same group right. I can take one and nine in the same group why? Because both of them both of see either I can take only I only the condition which I need to check take care is if I take i I cannot take k minus i right. See what is k? K is eight. If I take one I cannot take k minus one which is seven right. If I take 2, I cannot take 6. If I take 3, I cannot take 5. So, and in my in my question, I am told that we need to find the maximum group size. In my question, I, I am told that I need to find the maximum group size. So, I can, see, I will definitely take the uh, group size where, where the, where, which is maximum, right? So, in my answer, initially my answer is 0, right? Initially my answer is 0. I would increment 2, correct? I would increment to 2. I, I am not taking this. I am taking this one. Right now, now I am moving forward. I am incrementing my i pointer, i plus plus, j pointer, j minus minus. Now again at this position we have two and six. See, see this 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 is a very important thing. See, I can take I cannot take one seven. I cannot take two six, but I can take one two and I can take one six. I can take seven two and seven six. These two are independent pairs, right? See, I can make a pair of these two elements. These two elements in they they will not be divisible by k. That is for sure. You you can take care of or you can you can deduce it from the deduction only. See if I only i and k minus one will sum up to k. Correct. So that is a very important thing to note. So I can still take more elements, right? Now in this I can take either a two or six, whatever, right? Whatever, whatever frequency I mean the remain the element with elements with remainder two or elements with remainder six. I can take both. But since both of them both of them have frequency of one, yeah, only one element would be added. So I mean, in my answer, I would have three now because I can form a group size of one, nine, and either I can take two or six bo because both of them have frequency of one, right? So it doesn't matter much. So this is the case. So now this is done, right? Because all of all of the other elements have frequency less than zero. Now assume that assume that this was my array one seven two six nine eight and uh, uh, 16 assume that this was my error okay k is still 8 now i told you that i can take one see let's from the let let us form the remainder array the remainder array is the very important thing in, the, in this problem right if you you form if you are able to form this then you will you have solved half of the problem right how would you form the remainder array? so 1 7 2 6 1 1 1 1 9 modulo 8 is again 1 so this means 2 this would meet 2, 8 modulo 8 is 0 and 16 modulo 8 is also 0. So again at 0 position we have two frequencies right. Now very important thing see initially we will start from low equal to 1 and high equal to k minus 1 right. See if I sum some of them then it would be k and I, have, I, I will have to exclude this thing right. So initially we will start from this only 2, 1 and 7 right. What is my maximum of both of them? 2. So I would increment my answer plus equal to 2. Similarly, for 1 and 1, it is 2. So, yeah, so it is, sorry, it is 1. So I would increment my answer, answer plus plus. Answer is now 3. Correct. Now, see, what would be the case if I have 0 element? That means that there are two elements which are exactly divisible by k, right? So I can take one of them. I can take maximum of one of them, right? See, if I take both of them, answer 8 and 16, then it would be 24. And again, the, my... I cannot take 8 and 16 in my same group, right? Because their sum is divisible by k. Modulo k equal equal to 0. Because individually if both of them are divisible by k, then their sum is also going to be divisible by k. So I can take at most one element. Whatever be the number of elements, let's say there were five elements with which are which were exactly divisible by k, then also I can take only one element. Then also I can take only one element, right? That is for sure. See, there are let's say three elements, 8, 16 and 24. Okay. Now I can take only one element out of this, right? I, either I can take 8, 16 or 24. Otherwise, otherwise I would have a pair with some modulo k equal equal to 0 and which is what we, which, which, which is not required, right? Which is not required. So that means 
uh, when, whenever we have an element with frequency 0 or a remainder 0 then I can take only one of them despite I have many right you can see that from the problem itself correct S still one more case remains still one more case remains and which is the case of 4 when when my low equal equal to high then then what I would do again it is a very good case see uh, assume that uh, what what I can take I would uh, um, yeah assume that there was 4 also there was 4 also in my problem in my uh, array then uh, here here would have, it would have been 1 correct it would have been 1 now if I take i i is 4 and k minus i is also 4 right k minus i is also 4 and i is also 4 and let's say there are 4 there is present 4 then what I would take 12 12 is also present right so that means that there is a frequency of 2 okay there are two elements with remainder 2 a uh, remainder 4 sorry there are two elements with remainder 4 correct now can I take both of the elements can I take 4 and 12 together no why because if, if I sum them sum them then my 16 modulo k is equal equal to 0 why see if I take if i equal equal to k minus i then if I sum them sum them what is my sum 2i equal equal to k. what is the sum what is the sum it would be k right sum is k if I take two elements i and k minus i and if I sum them what is my k, uh, remainder uh, sorry what is my sum it is k right so def definitely k modulo k is equal equal to 0 right so whenever we have a case whenever we have a case that low equal equal to high low equal equal to high then I need to then also I can take only one element right see if I have two elements 4 and 12 present and my k is 8 I cannot take this group I can take only either 4 or 12 because 4 plus 12 is 16 and 16 modulo 8 is again 0 right so so there are two edge cases let me summarize this two edge cases first one when my element is element modulo k equal equal to 0 second case uh, yeah yeah assume that second case is element modulo k equal equal to 0 and in the, my second case is i equal equal to k minus i correct so in this case also I can take only one element if it see I can take uh, element only if the element is only if the only if the remainder is present and if I, my element modulo k is also 0 then I also can take one element and else else I can take answer plus equal to maximum of i or k minus i okay frequency with i or k minus i that is that is I explained it earlier also right see I can take see I cannot I have to make group of 1 and 7 right 1 and 7 cannot be together in my group right but single 1 and single 7 can can be together in my group right so that means that uh, if, if the elements are having a remainder of 1 or 2 then I will definitely take both of them in my group because I need the maximum group size that, that that's why I need to take maximum okay so yeah this is a bit typical problem but yeah it is good mathematical problem and, and yeah, each of us should know this problem uh, so to solve this problem and yeah it is using module approaches and if you are not getting the problem you comment it down I will try to explain it again okay and let me show you the code quickly yeah so I am forming my frequency map m of array modulo k equal equal to 0 I am starting with low i low equal to 1 and high equal to k minus 1 because this will sum to k and then I am iterating till low less than equal to i right and if I, I told you that if my low equal equal to i which was the case of 4 sorry which was the case of in this case which was the case of this one right this was the case 4 this was the case where uh, I have two elements called 4 and 12 and I cannot take them both of them right so that means low equal equal to high and m m if that element with frequency is present then I would increment my answer and never uh, apart from that I would then uh, find out the maximum of both of them right 1 and 7 2 and 6 correct I would increment my low and similarly at the same point in time decrement my high pointers and if my zero frequency and uh, and if an, if there exists an element with wh whose modulo k is zero, which which is completely divisible by k, then I would also increment the answer by once only, right? This is the case. This is the case we have seen clearly. See, I cannot take eight and sixteen together, right? The, uh, even both uh, both of them are divisible by eight, right? Both of them are divisible by eight. Then also I cannot take them in the group because because in my group, if I if I sum them up, if I sum them up, then they are also divisible by k, and which is what is not required. Okay. So I can I need to take only one and finally I need to return my answer right and when I try to submit it yeah 
so it is passing all of the cases and in case if you have any doubts comment it down i will try to explain it again do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you for watching